Hey guys, Johnny Drama here. I've got a new game for you. It is. I've got a team deathmatch on array. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty old game that I got. I didn't manage to upload it then, so I'm uploading it now for you guys. Uh, it's a TDM 44. Uh, sorry, 40, 41 and one. Uh, it does get pretty intense by the end. I wanted to. I wanted it to be a flawless game, but sadly, I could not. Get it? I was being like so careful by the end, but they actually managed to kill me. They were pretty pissed off at me. I was uh, patrolling this this building right here, and I got this great game. But that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Today I will be uh, talking about one of my not one of my but my favorite sports, which is football. And uh, in generally, uh, uh, I will be talking about. Uh, Serie A, that would be the Italian Football League for those who don't know. And first of all, I I just wanted to say sorry because I didn't upload an, any gameplay. I was actually in a, a row making a couple of emblems um, about some Italian teams. And uh, uh, adesso voglio ringraziare tutti che hanno inviato una richiesta di un emblema. Uh, se avete altre richieste mandatemi un messaggio e io cercherò di fare i vostri emblemi uh, basically for those who don't understand Italian I, I said thank you to everyone who sent me requests for to make an emblem for them I made a, uh, I made pr I made a couple of emblems of the Italian teams that are pretty good uh, if you want you can check them out if you're an Italian fan so let's get into this topic I wanted to talk about Italian football and how it's just been in decline in recent years. I mean, uh, as probably you know, a couple of weeks it was ago it was announced that as of uh, the season 2012-2013, uh, one of the Champions League spots in the Italian league would be deducted and given to Germany. Now I don't want to offend any Italians, any Italian football fans, but uh, in my eyes, I think that was. A good call because honestly Italian football was one of the best if not the best football in the last 10-20 uh, years but in just re in the recent two or three maybe five years let's not just let's not say five but maybe three to four years it was it was just in decline I mean teams were not that good uh, there were a lot of scandals the Calpicoli scandal was just too much for the Italian league there was also a couple of a uh, couple of unfortunate incidents with fans and there was even one that died for uh, he was a Lazio fan I remember and that that's just not something that is top class f uh, football that is to uh, very very recognized by the governing bodies of European football and I think that the decision to deduct one of the places rightfully goes to Germany regardless of the point system to which they are measured of I don't know stadium quality football quality that doesn't matter I mean because Germany plays very fast very good football but uh, we're here to talk about the Italian and uh, right now as, a, as, a, as I'm doing this commentary AC Milan are playing uh, Tottenham in the UEFA Champions League knockout round. It is the second half right now, and I just couldn't watch that game. I watched the first half, and it was just awful. I mean, there it was just a little passing game between the midfields of the two teams, and I did not want to watch the second game and just be bored. And I opted to do this commentary. And um, as it stands right now, uh, in the Serie A league, AC Milan are actually first with. Uh, 61 points in front of Inter and by me this is really amazing because AC Milan have one of the worst teams they've had in recent years I mean their midfield is just consisted of players that are past their peak age and just don't have much quality in them I mean you can remember the team uh, that was Shevchenko I mean they had uh, that w they had amazing players and Zaghi was playing in his peak he's, he's basically worn out by now he's laughed and he comes on the field but he used to be one of the greatest goal scorers I and mean, combined with Shevchenko that was a 
that was a formidable team nobody can beat them Rui Costa was there and seeing as how Milan are actually first I mean they have a very bad team and that just shows you that the the, the decline of the Italian football that has been in recent years and uh, the video is about to finish up by I'll honestly hope Italy will sort out, sort out their problems and be just as good as England and Germany and will get back to their winning ways. I'm Johnny Drama, thanks for watching this video and I will see you later.